Instead of using a paired bar chart like this, try using a dumbbell plot instead. It makes comparing values much easier. We create such a plot by first loading the tidyverse and then we take our data, make its column names nicer for programming, extract the two years that we want to compare and then we can make the year into a factor variable so that it is treated like a categorical variable. Also, because we don't want to look at all of the countries simultaneously, we sample a couple of country names and filter our data accordingly. Now we can define two colors for the two years that we are comparing. Then it's time to pass our sample to GM point and a scale function that uses the correct colors. The theme isn't too great, so let's tweak it a little bit. Nothing much, just theme minimal and removing the legend. That's because we will replace the legend with a plot title. To create this title, we start to write a short description and wrap the years into colored HTML span tags. Notice that we have used the glue function here to get the correct colors from our color vector into the span tags. Next, we can create labels like we normally would, but we have to make sure that the title accepts HTML. In order for this to look decent, we need to sort this. But first, let's make this into a dumbbell plot by connecting the dots with horizontal lines. To do so, we take our data, select only the variables that are necessary for the lines and rearrange the data. Now we can compute the amount of change and sort the countries by their life expectancy and whether their life expectancy actually increased. Perfect, our new dataset is ready and can be used with GM segment to add the horizontal lines. This approach also works very well for more than just five countries, but be careful. With so many dumbbells, it becomes even more important to sort the dumbbells. And you especially have to sort by whether the change is positive or negative. Otherwise, you might miss that some of the countries actually decrease their life expectancy. So that's how you create dumbbell plots. Hit that like like button if you want to see more fast explainer videos like this. You can even suggest the next topic in the comments if you want. Thanks for watching and see you next time.